hello and uh, welcome everyone welcome again to my youtube channel and in this playlist i was covering the, uh, the javascript and we have already covered the javascript basics now i'm covering javascript intermediate stuff where we will talk higher order function callback uh, the prototype proto okay all these things we will cover in the intermediate i have a lot of things to cover in the intermediate section before moving to the advanced so first thing which we will talk about the callback callback in javascript okay so first of all why what is the need of callback and uh, why we are using them i hope you have already uh, used them the callback things in earlier while we were talking about uh, the array prototype methods you can see the for each method which takes function as an argument right and here if based on the iteration you can get the value so we are not new to the callback function we are actually passing a function as an argument in this function so for each is a function and again we are passing function as an argument in the for each function so that is a callback function because for each function is defined in such a way that it will be accepting a function and returning a function as an argument from there Similarly, if you see this, uh, what will happen? It will just iterate on to this, and will give us the values, right? One, two, three. This is it. So similarly, there is a math method. Uh, it is also doing the same thing. It is returning as the new array. Similarly, filter for each, reduce. Okay, every sum. All these methods are there, which are accepting the callback. So what? What it actually this is, right? So let's call this process. So let's define our own function which is accepting another function as an argument, and then we will deal with this. Okay. So process user input is a function we created. So what this function is doing? This function is accepting another as a function as an argument, or you can call it as a callback as an argument. And once you are done, once you are done, return this function. all back passing the argument right so this is how a function takes another function as an argument here you can check if the cb is of type function then only return the callback function otherwise just throw an error because while calling the function i'm passing another function here so process unit this is the definition of it now i will be calling this function process user input and i will be passing function as an argument you can see that and here i am i will be getting name either you define this code like this or create a greeting function separately let's skip it for now now while calling this function i am passing function as an argument so this is an argument i need to pass and this is what i am passing so i am passing function as an argument and i'm passing the name and i'm already getting the name from this callback function right so what i will get i will get the value tarun uh, which is returned from this callback argument you can pass a different parameter right so this is how the callbacks are working right so callback are the implementation of higher order function where a function is accepting another function as an argument and returning it so process user input is a function which is accepting function as an argument and returning some value with that function so here you might be doing some calculation what is equal to 9 plus 90 or some asynchronous operation here once you get the data return this callback with the value right so this we can do c right so this is a callback here is another example uh this is the do homework function which is accepting two argument one is a general parameter another is a callback argument it can be anything you can put any name x y z c b callback anything now this do homework is accepting two argument first is a subject name another is a function so what i am doing do homework first is a subject name another is a function as an argument right so what will happen alert is not available because i'm running it in the console.log 
so I will hit console.log here if you run this then you will get appropriate output right starting my math homework and callback is returned so it will do finished my homework so you started homework maybe it took time it's a synchronous operation once you are done just return the callback so this piece of code can be executed this piece of code or this particular segment will execute once the callback is returned from this function means this line is triggered from the upper function do homework okay you might have seen uh, the set timeout function what it is it is also the same thing it is accepting two argument so set timeout is executing this piece of information after 3000 millisecond right here you put console.log right so what it is doing if you see the definition of set timeout somewhere it is nothing but uh, like uh, let's write some set timeout function it is accepting two argument fn and the timeout right and what is happening there is a it is doing a delay once the delay is happened then it what it will do it will just execute the fn right this is how the set timeout function is defined but set timeout is a native function so you don't know, need to define but this is how it is written in the code javascript set timeout is accepting two arguments one is a function another is a timeout and this function callback will be triggered after that timeout when the timeout is happened right so what it will happen right it will just print the value after three seconds right so you can see hello is printed so this is a set timeout so all these are set timeout for each map filter reduce all are the example of classical uh, the callbacks and in the node.js we write callback everywhere in the plain javascript also whenever there is a synchronous operation is need to be done what we do we are calling this function so here execute your call uh, here execute your asynchronous function once you are done by getting the data from the file getting the data from the network return this callback so i can get the data whatever you have received from the api call and i will print that here okay this is all about uh, the callback functions in javascript we will talk about more advanced about callback promises callback help promise async await in the further sections this is talking about the basics of a callback